Greetings, salutations, and welcome to Kingy's Toy Box in association with the Retrek podcast. And the reason we're in association with Retrek this time is because we have got none other than Captain James T. Kirk, or as he's more accurately here, Admiral James T. Kirk. He's got that gold trim on his Admiral's uniform, and this is part of the new. Playmates relaunch of the Star Trek Wrath of Khan um, figures, but it's also part of a bigger thing. So you've got your classic Star Trek, talked about we don't like that, uh, for it when they call it the original series, Khan, Kirk and Spock, but then you can also get a selection of TNG with Picard, Riker, Data and Discovery um, with Burnham and Saru. There is also some um, Prodigy figures coming, and yep, the Q QR code, or just the Q code. Uh, I did check that out, wasn't very good, just sort of took you to a website, and it just advertised the other stuff. I, I were hoping there'd be like a little video from John Delancey and stuff, but not so much, not so much. Anyway, let's have a look at this figure, because this is awesome. Um, so as we got before, it's in the... Star Trek Universe packaging. It's got the plastic thing which makes it look like it's kind of a transporter pad, which I really enjoy. And trigger warning for anyone who doesn't like opening figures, we're gonna dive straight in. Oh, here we go. And once we get inside, we've got the little stand. So let's take that off and have a look. Doesn't have his name on or anything. They used to always have the name printed on a little bit of, little bit of tape there. So that's a shame that we don't get that. But never mind, never mind. Right, let's have a look at Kirk himself. Now, I've been wondering what this Dubri here is. And we'll find out in a minute. So we're going to cut him out of his, his things so we don't break him. Let's have a look at Admiral Kirk. Okay, first thing. I don't think that's too bad a likeness of Shatner, particularly at this price point. It's got the pointy sides, which was very much of that movie era. His hands look very big. Do they look disproportionately big? I don't know. Um, oh, we've got that thing that we had with the can figure where you worry you're going to break the arm, but no, it is all just to do with the angle. Got all his Admiral Pips there and the Admiral Symbol. Same on his, um, what do they call that? There's a word for that, I'm sure, the clasp. We've got his golden belt, buckle. We've got some writing on his back. That's not film accurate. He didn't have a thing saying, you know, Playmates toys in the film. Very much do the splits. Got the the trousers are suitably sort of flared and all bunched up and tucked into the, the boots, which is, again, very sort of period accurate. This is kind of the, the classic. I think in Star Trek canon, this is the uniform that... They wore longer than any other, um, mainly because it it, it, it kind of helped with the middle age spread of the actors at the time. So, but it is a funky, cool uniform. Right, so we've got him on his base. Let's have a look at these accessories then. So we've got a phaser. We're all familiar with the phaser. And that is very much a Star Trek II phaser. Anyone who remembers, that's what Captain Tyrell had when he... Um, well, we won't say what happened to Captain Tyrell, but if you want to check out Star Trek II, you can do so. Kirk can have his phaser. He's also got what appears to be some type of tricorder. Is that meant to be a tricorder? It's got a clip to fit on his wrist. Which we can we can clip it on his wrist. Now, 
in Star Trek 2, they did have little wrist communicators. And you know, Kirk did have a flippy one as well, but I remember Tyrell had a, a wrist one, so maybe that's what that's meant to be. But here we have the mysterious piece. Hmm. Okay. What is that? Does it clip onto this, maybe? Is it like a two? Ah. They sort of clip to, no. Does it go that way up? No. I mean, even if it did, I'm not sure what that would be all about. Oh, you know what it is? It is um, when he comes on right at the start and they've done the Kobayashi Maru thing and he's got a little sort of future space clipboard and he's going, you all died, you're all rubbish. That, I believe, is what that's meant to be. So there you go, at least we solved it. At least we solved it. And you can see, yeah, there's a couple of buttons on the top of it. That hand is built just to hold it there. So, yeah, if you want to reenact sequences where Captain Kirk comes on and gives feedback on... In fact, we've just done... There's a little bit behind the scenes now... Um, we've just done a McFarlane DC Comics figures video, but so we'll just bring Nightwing back just for a bit of fun, just to see what you can do. So, do, 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 do. oh, hello, Captain Kirk. I mean, Admiral Kirk. Sorry. Yes, you should be sorry. I'm going to mark that on your file. Beep, 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 beep. There you go. You've got one demerit for not addressing me properly. Also, you're out of uniform, Mr... But I'm not in Starfleet. No, you're not in Starfleet. That's a good point. I probably shouldn't be randomly telling people off that I meet in public. No, you shouldn't. That sort of thing that gets you click round the head. <laughs> so there you go. So you can have all sorts of hours of fun with that. Um, but overall, yeah, great figure. Captures his likeness. Now that we know what the accessory is, bit of fun. I mean, he's looking, you see, he's... That'd put you off, wouldn't it? If he like walked in and he's like, Oh, I'm assessing your job performance, but I've got a phaser in other hand, you'd be like, uh oh. But that's just the kind of guy Captain Kirk is. And you know what? We'll put his wrist thing on as well, just so that he's all he's all um accessoried up. So there you go. So there's Admiral Kirk. Go away, Nightwing, you're in another video. Oh, very sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> so there we go. Don't know which other ones of these we might pick up. I've got the uh, Rafa Khan collection complete now, so I'm happy with that one. Uh, we'll see about the TNG ones or the uh, Discovery or the Prodigy. I, the Prodigy ones I really like. I feel like they need to do more Prodigy merch, which if you've ever uh, watched our podcast, Retrek, available on all good podcasting platforms, you'll know that we feel like there should be a lot more merch out there. So you never know. Anyway, um, we will sign off there and we will see you next time.